Literally millions of birds migrate to Haida Gwaii every summer to have their chicks. The rainforests of the remote islands here harbour over 100 species of breeding birds. The ancient murrelet is a species at risk in Canada and over 50% of the entire global population uh, nests on Haida Gwaii and almost half of those are right here in Guayanas. Some people have asked me why is the ancient murrelet such an important species and I like to think of them as a barometer of the health of not only the oceans where they feed but also the remote islands where they have evolved for thousands of years in complete isolation. Most visitors to these islands view them as peaceful quiet retreats but at night these islands really come to life. Ancient murrelets evolved to return to their burrows in the dark of the night to avoid avian predation from native predators such as bald eagles and peregrine falcons. So here we are at an ancient murrelet burrow and you can see that they're pretty cryptic and, and often hard to spot. Unlike other birds whose chicks remain in their nests for weeks, ancient murrelet chicks tumble from their burrows after only one or two days drawn to the sea by the calls and songs of their waiting parents. Unfortunately, this is the time of the night when rats are most active and this puts ancient murrelets at great risk of local extinction on islands where rats have been introduced. Sadly, whole colonies of ancient murrelets as well as other seabird species have been lost as introduced rats continue to spread throughout the archipelago. Parks Canada, the Haida Nation and several partners are working together to restore these critical island habitats. The Nightbirds Returning Project is about restoring globally significant seabird populations, particularly those of ancient murrelets. Invasive species like rats are the number one threat to the ecological integrity of Guayanas. Rats are voracious in terms of their consumption of eggs, of seabird chicks. They will even take adult seabirds. The ancient murrelet, or the nightbirds as the Haida call them, are particularly impacted by rats. We're concerned about their breeding habitat and their breeding success on these islands. There have been over 300 successful rat eradications from islands globally, and we've looked to many of those to learn lessons that we could apply here in the Haida Gwaii context. The Nightbirds Returning Project has been in the planning and development and implementation phase since 2009. Because this is Canada's first aerial eradication of rats, uh, we wanted to make sure that we had as many experts as possible to help us with the planning of this project. Globally now we've got a, an eradication community that shares the information. Over time, we've got into more complex and larger islands. And while it started in New Zealand, now it's being done by many countries around the world. We first started planning the project for a ground-based eradication on smaller islands of Bischoffs and Arachica. Using what we learned from our pilot projects, we moved on to tackle much larger islands of Murchison and Faraday. These were logistically much more complicated uh, to plan an eradication on and required new techniques. The technique that we focused on was an aerial broadcast methodology. Uh, and we chose that technique because it gave us the highest probability of eradication success. It allows us to tackle islands of much more complicated terrain and much bigger in size. The implementation of, of rat eradications are not taken lightly. These are built on incremental steps to learn and understand not only, number one, can you get rid of the rats, but two, that the potential impact from the bait that you're using, uh, the mitigation will be appropriate to minimize that risk to non-target species. Every eradication brings with it risks where species that you don't want to eat the bait do, but with planning and, and good implementation, those populations soon recover and far outnumber what they were initially. You're removing predation, you're removing competition, and so the species come back and the ecosystem as a whole is much healthier. At the end of the day, uh, this project is, is not about the removal of rats from islands, it's really about the recovery of local seabird populations and ultimately about restoring balance to the ecosystem. Oh, 
Oh, hello.